If you're like me on the weekends, it's nice to sleep late. And if you happen to have fallen asleep in the grove, well, this was the perfect place to wake up. Especially if you brought your bed, because this was bed race day. On your mark, get set. Folks, you're looking at 75 of the most competitive beds in South Florida, along with their pit crews and riders, the people who make the difference between a bed that rocks and rolls. Now, what's important in bed racing is not how soft the bed is, not even if you can get to sleep in it. All that's really important in bed racing is speed. Well, we clocked it at about 72 miles an hour, but... Uh... We don't know how accurate that is. We suggest, you know, maybe 65. We're turning 11.06. I think it's pretty fast. I think we can do it. I wouldn't know in terms of miles per hour. I don't know. It's as fast as I can run. Of course, there are those who really don't care how fast their bed goes, just so they have a good time. When your entry fee is $400 a bed, with proceeds going to muscular dystrophy, what's important is putting on a show for that unique breed of race fan you can only find at bed races. Is this the way you always come to a bed race with a bed on your head? Yeah, usually. We dress like this during the week, so uh, I don't see anything strange about it. Well, I think it's an appropriate place to get out of bed and come to a bed race. It is a great race. Don't you like my snake? I love it. Then there are those who take bed racing very seriously. Teams like Rich Photo, who won this bed race for the third year in a row. 100 yards in 10.85 seconds. Of course, the real winner is MDA, with over $70,000 raised. Everyone else deserves a good night's sleep. John Holden, News 4.